Don't count them out. It should be coming soon. Coburn, double team momentarily. Can't finish off the window. Almost thrown in by Grandison. And Coburn, goal percentage-wise, last season, 2019, that opening exhibition game the Illini played, and he was out on the floor and making that shot tough. Frazier and Hawkins and Williams still out there for Illinois. Hawkins along three, banks it in. Coleman Hawkins, who made three three-pointers last season. Back in 1920, a transfer from Division III Wesleyan University, the Cardinals out of the NESCAC Conference. As that shot rolls out from the top, but yes. put in. The athleticism from Hutcherson is something. NESCAC. You know a lot about that from being very, out east. Very familiar. That terrific conference of action is as a foul. Darius Wright fouled shooting a three. Trent Frazier appeals it, but go for St. Francis. 40-pound junior, and then Alfonso Plummer, two-year top 10 in the SEC in block shots this season. Up the shot attempt by Kerner. Frazier in the lane will take it himself and draw a foul on Jalen Bates. And we'll see Trent Frazier in 80. He's a really good three-point shooter to add to this team. Speaking of three-point shooting, Frazier, 16-4 in the Big Ten regular season, finishing in second place, and then taking the Big Ten Tournament Championship. Three-pointer front rim by McGlasson. And pushing it ahead, Curbelo. He'll loft it up for Coburn, gathers, and finishes. Out front, Hutcherson knocking into the backcourt. It gets the steal, but then he stepped on the sideline. And it'll be in a IA Division I school in Joliet. Step back for the Big Ten logo. Rolls around it in for Joey. Joey. Get a 10-point game. Curbelo flings it out to Hutcherson for a left side three, and it's good. Great vision by Curbelo there. For Curbelo, rebound Hutcherson. He will take it ahead. Yeah, they're comfortable with him handling the ball, even with Curbelo on the floor. And bumping down low, making his way to the hoop. You mentioned uh, Hutcherson. They're happy with him handling the basketball. You can see him running point as this day goes and as this season goes. Luke Goody, by the way, is into the ball game for Illinois. In high school. Hutcherson, the drive, had it stripped away by Wright, who throws it up ahead. McGlasson to Bujemi. Knocks down a three. Nice transition three shot there by Bujemi, you can tell. And in Lieb, and Jacob Grandison getting set to come back on the floor. Coburn, little roll. And just like that, Coburn's got six straight points for Illinois. 24 to eight, Illinois. 8.53 remaining first half. That is nothing but net for Illinois. Three of the five starters back from last season. Six other letter winners back. And then five newcomers. Nice pass. First points. Yeah, and of course you get the two super seniors back, DeMonte Williams exactly. and uh, Trent Frazier that are allowed to because of that COVID year of eligibility. So they're both back for another season. Goody knocking it away. Curbella, what a pass to Hutcherson who finishes it on the other end. That's why that guy's on a lot of free. Curbelo, who averaged 4.2 assists per game off the bench and was sixth in the Big Ten. Hutcherson. Austin. Not whistle. Both teams have four guys down ready to check in. We're going to see Brad Underwood mix and match a lot of different combinations today, which is obviously what a game like this is somewhat for. As Curbelo with the three. In by Plummer, caught by Hutcherson. And now Coburn from the free throw line, got it. This team's having a lot of fun right now. Anything they shoot seems to be. On the floor, 35 to 10. And yeah, 13 to two run over the last three minutes certainly helps. That's a three pointer by Carter Faith back into the game as well. Frazier down the baseline, leaves it for Lieb, and he lost handle of the basketball. 
The flip to the corner, Charles misses. Rebound off the floor by Grandison. And here's Frazier. Takes the long two for Trent Frazier. I don't see any reason why he won't be again this season. Illinois, the preseason number 11 team. And a very stacked, big get back out in front of the fans. Get them back in the building, get that energy. And think about this Illinois team, how well and how, how well they have played. And that's a three-pointer from the corner. Any fans, except for you got to the Big Ten Tournament, the NCAA Tournament got select. But it's, uh, they decided to get an exhibition game on the schedule early. Get the, uh, the momentum rolling for this season. Yeah, and you mentioned it earlier in talking about Andre Curbelo specifically. Didn't get... Section is almost full. Jacob Grandison. Can't get the free throw to go. It's he was... Or Worcester. I think he started 16 games last year and DeMonte Williams 17. But once Grandison got into that starting lineup, that's when Illinois started to go on their roll. I'm from Massachusetts, and I can't even do the accent right for uh, Worcester. <laughs> Three-pointer is good. Boyd shooter a year ago. 45-18 Illinois. Final minute of the first half in this exhibition matchup on a Saturday night in Champaign. Trent Frazier wow. to the cup. Lays it in. He's got the uh, students as well as the local fan base here in Champaign and the surrounding area. Frazier on the run out. Can't finish. And it's tipped up on the follow-up by Benjamin bossmans Verdon. That's four steals now for Frazier. He's been all over the place defensively. Frazier wants another one. He has it. Gets it ahead for Coleman Hawkins with a two-hand flush. Man, Trent Frazier is playing very, very good basketball right now, forcing. I mean, that was at the buzzer there. Georgie Bishanisvili had signed a 10-day a contract with the Nuggets about 10 days ago. Yep. Uh, you might know more about what's going on with him as uh, as well as our resident expert is Andre Curbelo with that most recent basket has nine points. Trent Frazier, hard foul. E.J. Charles makes sure he's okay. Times that they played. The last time this built. The free throw line tonight. And now, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Announcer jinx. Doesn't officially count though, remember, exhibition, so it won't, won't hurt his <laughs> stats, so it's not really a jinx. It won't hurt yours either. <laughs> there's the basket by Jacob Grandison. His first times for this Illini team. Really good from three as well. He might have a shot here. Down the baseline. Demonte Williams, that was a tough gather. He was able to go up, score, and. Demonte, 68% from the line last year, sinks that one. In the preseason, top 25. Illinois will open up the regular season on Tuesday, November 9th here. Almost a half court bounce pass we saw earlier. Coburn spins into a double team, but he's just too strong for that. It's not, again, nothing that uh, beckons. Frazier along three. Probably not exactly what they wanted on the sideline. And there's a steal. Hawkins stripped away, falls to Plummer, who lays it up and in. Seasons. Last year, he led the Pac-12, making two. To keep the possession alive. Ball inbound to Goody. Try to fire it to the cutting Hutcherson, who Personal got grabbed and fouled. Three, and three uh, most uh, unique. Yeah, definitely unique. Now, if you know what schools those go with, I'd be very impressed. I do not. <laughs> the, as Hutcherson makes. Okay. okay. So as I said, those are my top three uh, mascot names in the NSCAC conference, the former home of Austin Hutcherson. Curbelo. Drops it off, Bossman's for Doc with the finish. Players on the team from Puerto Rico with... Oh, Curbelo oh. went for the... Banks it off the defender. Players attempt that, but unsuccessfully. Ever since seeing... As uh, RJ Melendez banks it. It was Buccemi. Coleman bringing the ball up this time around. Got the handles. Missed it short with the right hand. Oh, Omar Payne, though, with the... He's frustrated. He always can tell. He, he wants to finish off every play, no matter the situation, even in a 52-point game. 14-0 run that Illinois was on. 
St. Francis, if you're wondering, other teams in their conference, other schools. You got Trinity International, Holy Cross, the one in South Bend, Indiana, not to be confused with the Holy Cross that Jacob Grandison played for. Players, obviously, a spark plug for this offense time, so I'm sure that's something we'll keep an eye on this year as well. I feel like, yeah, that triple double for a player like him will eventually. You mentioned. And Hawkins will sink the first one. Illinois at the line has a time percent, was still uh, was 11th. In the Big Ten. Yeah, going to need to be a little bit better from free throws. Uh, that crippled Illinois in a few. Illinois, another exhibition game next Friday against Indiana, another Big Ten Plus game on Friday, November. Good move there by Bujemi, obviously unable to convert, but pretty good offensive showing from him. Grandison gets hit hard and fouled. Oh, excuse me, one more miss than he had all of last year. It was 22. Or six to eight, or of course now. Enjoying things. Yeah, it's kind of audition time now for the rest of the way. That's a three-pointer from the corner by Carlos Tavias. His points have come from beyond the arc. All five of his field goals have been attempted from beyond the three-point line. And now it looks with, with both Frazier and Curbelo out, Hutcherson is going to be the one right now, so we'll kind of see how the offense looks with him running things. They leave him wide open <laughs> Pretty for three. good. Perfect from the field overall, five for five. Yeah, he's been good today. A big X factor for this season it was going to be what you got from him. And, and if he plays the way he did today, Illinois is that much deeper of a team. Finger roll good. Francis' team does have a lot of international players. Of course, New Zealand, Israel, Sweden, Australia, among those uh, represented, and Spain as well. I, if I were a better question to ask is, what from your team did you see? Something that are going to be mentioned from Brad Underwood. Um, and another thing that I know he and most coaches hate is allowing offensive rebounds. And they've allowed quite a bit today to St. Francis. So I'm sure those would be the two things that kind of get hammered down by Brad Underwood post game. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, a coach is always going to find things to work on, even in a game that's 85 29. And again, we knew coming in that. You know, Competition-wise, talent-wise, it'd be very tough for St. Francis to to hang with Illinois, and they were only really, really to hang, able to hang around for about five minutes in this game before someone like Kofi Coburn completely took over, which right. happened, and he had 14 points in the first half. Well, for them, it's a it's a no-brainer of a of a game to come play. As Frazier almost getting a double double with steals, he's got six. Lieb got a block. Staying with it was Holy, but he couldn't finish on the second opportunity. Here's Plummer across the lane. Oh, that's a tough shot. And a tough fall there for Brandon. Goody feeds it to Melendez with a reverse. Newcomers to the program this season and Hutcherson, who's been with the team, but the first season he's been able to see the floor. Omar Payne with the two hand. I like what you've seen from Hutcherson off the bench today. RJ Melendez, the corner three. Offense rebound by Lieb, and then he finds Melendez cutting. December the third against Rutgers, December 6th against Iowa, and then not to mention. You have Arizona coming to town in December. Very athletic play there by Bajemi. Bragging rights game, yeah. Illinois looking to break a losing streak. They lost three in a row. A lot of chances for the fans to get back in the building over the course of the next few months, building up to the bulk of the Big Ten season. And oh, no, he passed it. Bajemski will hit the three. And he was the other than servant. Now, the only player that had it scored. But Podzimski, his first points in an exhibition as a fighting Illini player. The Illini are dancing on the bench there. First win, seemingly of many for this season, even though it won't count toward any type of record. 101 points on the board, shooting 58%. They get a standing ovation from the crowd here 
at the State Farm Center. Yeah, a warm welcome back for sure. It had been since March 8th of 2020.